Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hot Iron 4 money lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the character converter for a no step back. The character converter was created by Paradox to convert characters that were created prior to a no step back to the format that is used by Hot Iron 4 after the no step back update. Now before we begin this lesson, I do want to mention the following. The tool is not perfect. It will save you quite a bit of time if you have a lot of countries added in your mod with characters, but you will still need to do some manual changes as well. And it is possible that some conversions may not go as smoothly as you would like. Now one partial reason for that is the chaos that was the character system before a no step back. Uh, the game didn't really have any kind of a definition for characters. Some of the characters were used as country ideas, others were in the history file, so it was a big mess. And trying to create a tool that will take all of this mess and just neatly uh, convert it to an organized uh, thing is really quite impossible. So do expect some issues with your conversions. Uh, chances are that they will not be perfect, but the tool can still help you to save quite a bit of time. So with that said, let's start the lesson and see how to use the conversion tool. For the purpose of this lesson, I have created the bikini bottom country. We have our country leader and we're also supposed to have some advisors in here, but currently they're not shown. Now before I start the character conversion tool, let me just quickly go over the files of this country. If we go to common, ideas, bikini bottom, you see that we have our political advisor, we have our air chief, navy chief and high command. These are done in the old format. And if we were to go to the history folder, in here we also have our country leader, our field marshal and a core commander. All right, so we want to convert these characters. So let's see how to do that. Our first step is to start the IMGUI tool. So we'll go back in the game. Now the tool is an in-game tool. So you have to load the country that you want to convert your characters for, right? You need to be playing that country. And after you've loaded the country, you'll need to open the console window by pressing the tilde key on your keyboard. That's to the left of the number one key. And now in the console, we'll need to type the following. First, we're going to type IMGUI off. And that will turn off the character conversion system. Now, I don't know why you need to turn it off before you turn it on, but it just doesn't work any other way you have to do this you have to do it this way uh, as I said before the system is not perfect so you'll see that as we work with it we will encounter some issues but the purpose of this video is to show you how to overcome some of these issues so after we typed off we will type on and the next thing that we're going to type is IMGUI show characters click enter now, it is possible that when you do this for the first time, you won't actually see anything uh, properly shown on the screen, but it will open up this little window in here. And it did take me quite a bit to figure out what this thing is and how to actually work with it. But the thing is that it opens in a very um, small format. So you just need to drag this window. If you were to put your mouse on the edge here, click and hold and then just drag you see that it opens the window in a way that we can now use it properly all right so this is the character conversion system and in here you see first of all that it shows you that these are the characters of this country tag bikini bottom bkb and this is a list of these characters now i have created one two three four five six seven characters but you see clearly that we have more here. Now these three country leaders are country leaders that are created or are generated by the game for other ideologies that don't have any leaders assigned to them. 
Now, despite the fact that these are dynamically generated leaders, they still show up here and they will still be converted. And it's a bit weird, I'm not sure why it does that, uh, but you will still have entries for these leaders. So if your country doesn't have a leader assigned for every ideology, it is possible that you will have these leaders uh, in your country unless you remove them or choose not to use them and then the game will most likely generate uh, a random leader. So once we have this list of leaders, we can click the Write Current Nation Characters button. And what this will do is that it will create a new folder in the document, Hardware 4 folder, where we will have the new characters in their new format. So let's go ahead and click that. And let's go into that folder. We'll go to Documents, Hardware 4, and in here we are supposed to have a folder called Characters. Now, as you see, I currently don't have that folder. And that is another uh, bug with this system. Sometimes when you click, it doesn't actually do the conversion properly and it will not convert. So how can we overcome this issue? We can overcome it by tag switching. So I'm going to switch to another country like England. In here, I'm going to click the button once more. I'm going to go back to the folder. Now you see that we have a folder called character export. I'm going to remove it because these are the characters for uh, the United Kingdom, not for my country. Excellent. I'm now going to switch back to my country that I want to convert the leaders for. I'm going to click it again. And let's see, now we have character export for our country. Just another quirk, quirk of the system, uh, but you can overcome it like this. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and see what we have in here and actually compare it to what we have in our original mod. I'm going to open this mod in here to, on the right, and these are the converted characters on the left. So it creates a folder here called characters. This folder needs to go into the common folder. So let's actually go ahead and do it right now. We'll copy this folder in here. I can remove the ideas folder since it's not really relevant. Of course, don't remove it if you have any other ideas that are not characters. But for me, I only have characters in here. So I'm going to remove this folder. And in here in characters, if we open this file, you see that it created the character entries. Now, I will have a separate lesson on creating characters uh, post the No Step Back update. And in there, I'll probably talk more in depth about all of these fields and what they mean. If you're an experienced modder, these things should probably be quite familiar. It's quite uh, similar to how it was before. It's just laid out differently. So these are our converted characters, but we still have one more step and that is to adjust our history file. So what do I mean by that? If we open our file in here, this file contains the characters themselves, but there's another folder in here called history. So I'm going to go back to my mod. I'm going to go to history, countries, and as you can see, it generated another country file in here. Now you should be very careful. Don't just overwrite the file with an existing file that you already have in your mod because if I open this file, you see that it only contains references to the characters that were converted. It has no other information. So it can be actually uh, quite dangerous to overwrite your files. Don't do that, just open the file. And now you need to take these entries and put them in your history file. For example, you can put it in here at the top Whenever, wherever you choose, of course, you can put it in a bookmark. That is up to you to decide. And what this does is that it tells the game to activate this character so that it is available in the game. Now, one important thing to remember is that once you put them in here, you have to remove them from here as they are in the old format. Otherwise, they will be a duplicate. So I'm going to remove them from here and I'm just going to have them here. I'm going to save the file. And now our new characters are ready. Now, before we test this in the game, I do want to make one mention of character names 
and how they are converted. So if we take a look at our bikini bottom file in here, uh, actually let me take a look at it in here. I have this character in here that has a name with non-standard English characters. And uh, the reason that I included this character is just to see if it works or if the game throws an error at you. Now, from my testing so far, it seems that the game does not mind uh, these characters uh, in references to characters in the game. But uh, it would be my recommendation to fix this if you can, because obviously you have the name in here, but if you're referencing a character, this could actually cause some issues in effects and in other places. Uh, and this is one of the uh, drawbacks of this system is that because the character in the history file was named this, it just took this name and it created this as a reference or an ID of the character. And it's not great, obviously, and it does require you to go and fix all of these characters that have this, that have these uh, non-English characters in their name, uh, but it's what we have, it's the best thing that we have to work with, so do pay attention to that. Alright, so our characters are ready, let's just go into the game and see if they work. Alright, so we are in the game, let's open it in here. Okay, so we have uh, this character in here who is now the leader of the country. Now it's not Spongebob and I'll explain why that is, but you also see that we have a missing portrait in this case it's fine, uh, this character did not have a portrait assigned to it in my original character uh, entry. Now, uh, how do you decide which character shows up in here in case you have a couple of characters of the same ideology? So who becomes country leader? To change that, you simply need to go into your history file and change their order. So in here, you see that this character is first and then Spongebob. Both Spongebob and this guy have the same ideology, but because he is first, he becomes the leader of the country. And if I were to put Spongebob first, then Spongebob will be the leader. Um, ironically, this is opposite to how it was before No Step Back, where if you wanted the character to be the leader of the country, you would have to put that character at the end of the character entries. A lot of changes, uh, unfortunately, we just have to uh, get used to them. Now, one more time, I want to emphasize the purpose of this video is not uh, to show you perfect results. As I said at the beginning of the video, it is very likely that you will have issues, that you may have some missing portraits, things might not convert properly, there might be some problems with names. These are things that obviously I cannot anticipate because I don't know your mod. I don't know what characters you've created. For some of you, it might go smooth as butter and maybe everything will be working fine. The purpose of this video is to show you the, these little quirks and how to overcome them. And you need to take it from there and make the proper adjustments for your mod. Hopefully uh, this lesson has helped you. Uh, the new update is quite big, so it brings a lot of challenges to us modders. And I wish you good luck uh, in converting your mod to work with the new update. Hopefully everything goes smooth. If you have a question, if there's any way that I maybe can help, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video on the Iron Workshop. Bye-bye.